Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets end of days trading Monday, the 5th of September 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com, and you can certainly download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now my uh, channel certainly is on that app, so certainly download the app and certainly uh, feel free to follow me on there. Okay, in terms of um, uh, the uh, reaction today. Asian markets are generally higher across the board, uh, although uh, the yen certainly is strengthening with the euro, with the USD JPY now back towards the 103 region. In terms of economic data today, certainly uh, a data deluge, especially in Europe. Okay, so uh, in terms of the bullish arguments versus the bearish, uh, realistically, you had strong UK data, strong EU data with retail sales and uh, Obviously, uh, Centix uh, investor confidence as well, slightly higher. French PFI uh, and the Italian and Swedish data all coming out slightly better than expected. You had China and Hang Seng higher. Nikkei certainly high, but off the highs. Okay. Uh, in terms of uh, bearish arguments, there were multiple. Okay, multiple bearish arguments starting off with uh, with North Korea. Okay, test firing uh, three missiles, if I can recollect correctly. You had the concerns with regards to Amazon now, apparently their tax evasion certainly has uh, come under spotlight. Okay, uh, In terms of uh, central banks, central banks are arguing that uh, the potency of further QE certainly is diminished. Okay, uh, In terms of uh, Japan, uh, potentially highlighting the Brexit concerns as well, uh, saying that if obviously if there is a hard or a tough Brexit, then they'll certainly leave. So again, a spotlight back on Brexit. Okay. They may move their headquarters after Brexit. Okay. Uh, also, we had the uh, oil drama today. Saudi and the Russian so-called meeting that was supposed to be very, very important. Actually, was a uh, was a false flag. Okay. Nothing really emanated from there of any importance. Okay. So st oil, oil price is certainly uh, short squeezing higher only to come back and reverse. So again, that was really a waste of time today. German data was certainly weaker today as well, so again, that's that's the highlight. Germany obviously leads Europe, so if the leader is weak, then the, generally the rest will be as well. Volkswagen concerns. And that really is the highlight, really. I mean, um, <clears throat> growth concerns as well highlighted by the G20. So again, that really is a summation. Uh, failure for your oil to, uh, to, to sustain a move higher. Uh, reached uh, above 46 and now back to 44 now so again certainly indicating risk aversion we have the us off for labor day so again no real um, direction there so let's just quickly go up to the uh, the actual charts now okay and see exactly where we are uh, midday charts i did argue that you are going to see resistance a hold this double top resistance and that's exactly what's occurred i was short today uh, the dow certainly or should I say dax certainly putting a topping tail and has flushed ever since in terms of the uh, the moves to the downside, you take the pivot low to the pivot high. You're looking at at least a 38 to 50 percent retracement, possible support down at 61 percent as well. Ten minutes chart, that German DAX certainly closed the gap. The gap was closed around the 10680 zone. Next support potentially is seen at 10660, and then you have support even for below at 10620. So. Those are the two areas, the two zones that you're going to be watching carefully in terms of the next potential moves. Okay, all right. In terms of the uh, French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC for you now, folks. Okay, so daily chart, the French CAC. I argued that you are into gap fill resistance, and that's exactly where we were. We hit a pivot higher four five six five, only to return and move lower. Sixty minute chart as well on the downside. Next potential support is seen at four four ninety. Now, do bear in mind that we had the concerns with regards to Greece, no further aid being dispensed there. Also, with regards to Germany as well, with Merkel losing at home to the anti-immigration party, and that certainly isn't good news at all, okay? So, uh, the fanatics certainly are taking over, and that certainly doesn't bode well for, for German growth going forward, okay? So, in terms of French CAC, certainly uh, subdued, especially given the fact that the Euro USD, I try, which I highlighted, Euro USD is into support. Given the fact that this market or European markets are fixated, or every market really in the world, now every economy in the world is fixated on the currency, and the currency dictates the strength of the economy, given the fact that everybody, it's a zero-sum game, world trade, okay? Everybody wants to fight off deflation, and the only way you do that is via growth, and that's via exports and jobs, and the currency obviously is a vital uh, ingredient in terms of that uh, 
that formula to uh, to succeed. Uh, and you can certainly see with the euro now potentially in support, it does uh, indicate, especially with, given the fact that you're holding a 200 MA, it does indicate that the euro is going to move higher. If the euro moves higher, uh, the uh, economic data out of Germany is already weak, okay, with the euro at this level, given the fact that we've fallen from 1.135 down to 1.12 and it certainly isn't going to have a, a if anything it's going to make matters worse okay so a, a pop in euro will generally indicate a fall in the German DAX and which is generally the all EU equities okay let's look at the FTSE 100 now okay FTSE 100 this is a tricky one I'll stopped out overnight which is really frustrating at 6935 only to watch this index go all the way back down again again like I said very frustrating so it's been a frustrating day plus 16 points in the day today okay so certainly uh, trading out of the minus 40 point loss in the FTSE uh, going with my weekend trade and certainly managed to uh, swing it around back to plus 16 so that's good news um, well depends which way you see it and whether or not I can maintain that for the rest of the week but for now 60 minute chart you have this bearish engulfing candle uh, in the morning at 9 o'clock that certainly is in control you have the topping tail on the FTSE given the fact that we've we've uh, certainly pushed us as high as 200 odd points higher. In terms of the uh, retracement, you're looking at your pivot low to your pivot high. You're looking at your first potential support being around the 6850 zone. So look for 6850 to uh, 6825 and then 200 MA at 6840. So there are your potential support zones on the downside. So yes, I am. Uh, my bias is bearish and I am actually short the FTSE at the moment, looking for that 6850 to 6825 zone, okay? on the FTSE 100. Okay, so that certainly is the situation on the 60 minute chart, 10 minute chart on the FTSE. You clearly see that we are building a base or resistance level. At the, uh, the 6890 zone, so 6890 is your key resistance and therefore looking for a risk aversion. Especially given the fact, like I said, that the Euro is certainly in support, hurt European equities and in turn hurt the FTSE 100 as well. Also, the FTSE <clears throat> certainly under pressure due to stronger economic data today. Stronger economic data obviously negates the need for further QE. So again, a hawkish BOE is certainly isn't good news for the FTSE, and that's why you're seeing the FTSE under pressure. In terms of oil, FTSE certainly found resistance at 46.5 because the uh, Russians and the Saudis uh, much hyped and much talked about potential press, con press conference. Really bore no, uh, but certainly didn't, didn't, didn't give any fruits uh, for the bulls. So again, uh, bearish uh, uh, bias there for oil and therefore that will hurt the, right, the equity market okay I think that's a good summation then in terms of uh, the markets today uh, and really it's a dull day given the fact that it's a labor holiday in the US and there's no real conviction or, or volume at the moment so for now for focus, focus for me will be oil prices moving lower okay hawkish BOE therefore FTSE are certainly looking bearish Okay, no real catalyst to propel the markets higher and therefore looking for risk of uh... Okay, on that note, uh, wish you farewell and uh, look forward to tomorrow's trading session. Goodbye now.